this is first level of Turkish. Last time we were doing uh, basics, con basic conversations. And today we will start from this page here. Um, yeah. So here it's saying some basic words in Turkish. I will read them and then you will repeat them if you want. Afiyet olsun. Can you repeat please? Afiyet olsun. Afiyet olsun. Afiyet olsun means uh, good appetite. After you eat, after you eat, you will say to someone, Afiyet olsun, or before you eat actually. So you are wishing him a good meal. İyi dersler. İyi dersler. İyi dersler. İyi dersler means have a good lesson. So Afiyet olsun, which picture? Which picture do you think? Number three. Yes, af no. Eight. Eight, yes. Afiyet olsun is number eight. E dersler is picture uh, four. Picture four. Bol şanslar. Bol şanslar means uh, have a good life for an exam. Which picture? Someone who is having an exam. Maybe in this case, it could be number four. It could be number four. Ah, yo, it's number one because it's lottery. So someone is going to play the lottery. You are going to tell him, ball uh, And then you have tebrikler. Can you repeat tebrikler? So I don't know who is here. Yeah, Muhammad. Muhammad, you are here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tebrikler. Tebrikler. This is uh, this is when someone has got a baby or someone won something. You are going to say tebrikler. Uh, so çok yasha when someone çok yasha is picture number. Where is Self. five? Yeah, picture number five. When someone does this, you say to them, long life to you, çok yasha. Lütfen, lütfen is please. Lütfen. lütfen. Yes, lütfen. Please, yeah. please. Yes, uh, what else? Uh, özür dilerim, özür dilerim, it means sorry, sorry. Can you repeat özür that? Dilerim. Özür dilerim. dilerim. Yes, özür dilerim. It's picture number 12. Picture number 12. Uh, i̇yi geceler is good night. İyi geceler is good night. Which picture? Good night, I think. Number three is there. Number two. Number yeah, two. Yeah, number two, number two, number two. İyi geceler. Geçmiş olsun. Geçmiş olsun, you say this sentence for someone who is sick. So you are wishing them to have a good health. So it's picture number 11. 11. Mutlu mm yıllar -hmm. is uh, when you, in, in the new year. Happy new year. Mutlu yıllar is happy new year. Yeah, I think it's number nine. Oh. Number nine or eight, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, no, nine, it looks to me like happy birthday. It's yeah, yeah. Mm. It should oh, be number so. eight. We will say tamam. Tamam is okay. It's picture number three. Tamam is picture number three. And e yolculuklar. E yolculuklar is have a good trip. So it's picture number six. Picture yeah. number six. So uh, I think picture number nine, I don't know which one is this because if, uh, if we take seven as tebrikler and four as iyi dersler and uh, so 
here there should be something saying like doidum uh, gunu because it's birthday. We will see this later. I am not sure. Here we have okay. Here it's clear. So we have picture number one. You repeat after me, Muhammad. Bayramınız kutlu olsun. Bayramınız kutlu olsun. Yes, it is a happy Eid. You know what is Eid? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Muslim. Eid Mubarak. I know. Yeah, so this yeah. is it. It's for Eid Mubarak. Picture number two. Geçmiş olsun. Say please. Geçmiş olsun. Geçmiş olsun. Yeah, this is when someone is sick. So you say to them, get well. Geçmiş, geçmiş olsun. Geçmiş olsun. Olsun, yeah, it's fine now. Yes, picture number three, iyi seneler, iyi seneler. What's the first word, ma'am? Here, what's the first letter? I, e, I. We say e. It's yeah. I. E, e seneler. Yes, e seneler, which means uh, happy new year. Yeah, or it's fine. Long year. Yes. Picture number four. It's anneler. Anne is mother. One anne is one mother. Anneler mothers. So, anneler günün kutlu olsun means have a good Mother's Day mother. Annecim is dear mom. Dear mom, uh, go, have a good mom's day. This is for mom's day. Yeah. Anneler günün kutlu olsun. And then an gym. Anne gym. Evet. Anne. Anne gym. Okay. Doğum günün kutlu olsun. Doğum, e, doğum günün is birthday. Doğum günün kutlu olsun means happy birthday. Doğum günün kutlu olsun nice and similarly. And I don't know why they wrote this. I don't know. I, I know only the first sentence. And what does it mean, ma'am? It means uh, happy birthday. Dogum. What does it mean? Dogum, Dogum this word. Is uh, dead, a birth. Dom is birth. And Gunun yeah. dead. Yeah. Birthday. Can, can, can, can you tell me that uh, how many letters are there in Turkish language? Letters uh, like in English, there are 26. I think we will do the alphabet later in the page. Wait a second. Yeah, the alphabet is here. Next lesson, or maybe today. Maybe today we will do the alphabet. It's here, the alphabet. Yeah. We'll do. Okay. So basically, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29 in the Turkish alphabet. You have 29. Yeah, okay. Mm. So how do you pronounce them, ma'am? We will arrive. We will be there in a moment. Okay, so number six is sonsuz mutluklar. Sonsuz mutluklar. Here it means uh, wedding. Wedding. So anneler günü. What do we say? For anneler günü burada, we say anneler günün kutlu olsun, annecim. For hastalık, hastalık means when someone is uh, sick. So you are going to say for them, geçmiş olsun, bayram, bayram. For bayram, what do we say? We say uh, bayramın, bayramınız kutlu olsun. Dün, wedding, for dün, you say sonsuz mutluluklar. And for doğum günü, birthday, you will say doğum günün kutlu olsun. And for yeni yıl, yeni yıl, new year, you are going to say iyi seneler. Next, so uh, benim adım Albert Einstein. Ben Almanyalıyım ve Almanım. So the first sentence is 
for Albert Einstein, which is picture number three. The name Adam Mozart, Ben Avustra Avustrialium. So my name is Mozart and I am from Australia. It's picture number six. Benim Adam Ibrahim Kutluvay Ben Türkiyeliyim ve Türküm. Uh, but it doesn't say, I will skip this one. Benim Adam Jean Reno Ben Fransaliyim ve Fransızım. I think it's picture number one. We will confirm. Benim Adam Bay Ben Çinliyim. This one is picture number five. Chin Lim, it means I am from China. Benim Adam Omer, my name is Omer. Ben Nigeria Lim, this one is number one. So Benim Adam Jean Reno, Ben France Lim, the Francism. This one is number two. And Benim Adam Ibrahim, Ben Turkia Lim, the Turkum, this is number four. Metin din, uh, we don't have dinleme, so we are directly going to do those ones. Senin adın ne? Senin adın ne means what's your name? Nasılsın means how are you? Nerelisin means where are you from? Memnun oldum means uh, nice to meet you. The most important part, I think, is the alphabet. So the alphabet in Turkish has 29 letter and eight unlu harf. It means eight vowels and 21 unsus harf. So 21 uh, consonant and eight vowels. We are going to read them. A, B, J, C, D, E, F, G, I, Mushake, this is special. H, L, I, J, K, L, E. Uh, so this is E, uh, not L, E. Uh. After H, uh, it's E. Uh. And this is also special because it's like E, but it doesn't have a point or a dot on it. After E, uh, we have E, then G. K, L, M, N, O, E, P, R, C, Ch, T, U, U, V, Y, Z. This is it. So the ones in orange are consonants and the ones in green are vowels. The vowels are A, E, E. E, O, E, U, and U. And the consonants are the others. About the vowels, we have what we call in Turkish thick, kalan, and soft, inje. So the kalan ones are A, E, O, U, and inje ones or uh, soft ones are E, I, E, U. So you have E, I, E, U, and A, E, O, U. This is a very important vowel harmony rule in Turkish language. So we will do some words like to remember the letters. A, arkadaş. Arkadaş means friend. B, baba. Baba means father. C, ceviz. Ceviz is a dry fruit. Almond, I think. Che, çocuk. Çocuk means child. De, ders. Ders means lesson. E, ev, which means house. Fe, fare, which means mouse. G, gül, flower. E, yir, yumuşak. This is this uh, letter is yumuşak. It's like arch. Uh, the tree but when you find it you just you need you just need to make the letter that comes uh, before like strong arch then you have he havuch this is carrot then you have e isgara this is grills then you have e ish this is work 
J, gilet, jacket. K, column, column, this one, pen, here, pencil. L, lale, I don't know what is lale. M, masa, which is table. N, numara, number. O, autobus, bus. E, öğretmen, teacher. P, para, money. R, resim, picture. S, such, hair. Ş, şişe, bottle. T, tahta. Tahta is the board in the classroom. U, uçurtma. I don't know what is it. I will check it. U, ütü. Ütü is iron. Let me just check the one I couldn't uh, find, which is uh, uçurtma. Yeah, kite, uçurtma. It's kite. Yeah, it's okay. Then you have vaso, which is vase, the vaso. Ye, yemek, food, and ze, zeytin, olives. So this is for the alphabet. So, aşağıdaki karışık harfleri düzenleyelim ve kelimeleri yazalım. Um, the words are, the letters are in disorder. We need to put them in order. So, the first one, you have ö, k, ö, m, a. E, m, a. It's kalem, pen. Second one, masa, table. Third one, silgi. The fourth one, what is this? Uh, gözlük mü? No. This is dictionary. Dictionary. Hold on a second. Uh, sözlük. Sözlük. Dictionary. And the last one is kapı. Uh, which is the door. And then the other line, you have tahta, board, kitab, book, defter, notebook, chanta, bag, and bilgisayar, which is computer. Ad, it is Mahmad. So, uh, sesletim, sesletmek, or hija etmek, is to say your or to spell your name. So Mahmet is me e he me e te. So you can do it for your names also. Uh, it should be din leme, but we can also just tell you the words because I don't have the listening right away. So here in the picture is araba car. Chojuk or bebek because it starts with B, it's Bebek. Chetwal, okay, this is called Chetwal. Chanta, Beg. Deniz, Si. Elma, which is uh, Apple. Fünduk, Göz, I. Hale, Carpet. And I think, uh, not sure, but this is Marul. Should be Marul. I don't know why it is with uh, uh. They say. Uh, then you have the other one is Inek, the co Inek. What is this? I don't see what is in the picture. Money. Change, change money, I don't know, I think, or just money, but money is para in Turkish. I don't know this one. Then köpek, köpek is dog, lemon, merdiven, because it's stairs, merdiven, merdiven, there or merdiven, nar, okay, nar, it is this fruit and I like it. It is called nar uh, in English, pom, pomegranate. 
autobus, it is bus, autobus. Then you have duck in English, erdek in Turkish, uh, orange, but I think it's not orange because there is uh, radio, sat, shemsiye, the blue one here, shemsiye, tavuk, no? tavuk, uchak as a uh, plain, uzum, grapes, vaso, vase, yaldiz, it's um, star, and zarafa. So you have bune okim. You have those articles or demonstrative articles like bu, this, shu, also this, but for, uh, it's like when you say in English, this and that, for near and for far. In Turkish, we have a three. So we have for near, middle, and far. For near, you say bu, for middle, you say shu and for very far you say o. Oh. So bune, what's this? O kim, who is that? Uh, you have also burase neresi. What is it in here? You see a building and you wanna you wonder, you wanna know what is it. So you say burase neresi. Then bunlar kim, who are this? Who are these people? So if you say bune, answer is bu kalam, bu kalam. O kim, o öğretmen, he is a teacher. Burası neresi? Burası sınıf, we are in the class, or this is a classroom. Bunlar kim? Bunlar öğrenciler, these are uh, students. Resimleri bakalım, kelimeleri numaralarla eşleştirelim. So, çanta, which number? Çanta is, do we have çanta here? Çanta is number 11. Elma is number 13. Kitap is number, what is kitap? Kitap, I don't see, book. Is it nine? I think nine. Or do we have maybe nine? Okay, we'll scale, uh, skip it. Kalem, it's number one. Bilgisayar, number eight. Finjan, Finjan, number seven. Chetwal, number. Uh, what is Chetwal? I don't see it. I don't see that one. Ruler. I don't see a ruler here. Or maybe 10. Is 10 ruler? We will check later. Okay. Hisab makinese. Hisab makinese is number six. Defter. It shouldn't be number two. So if defter is number two, kitab is number nine. If kitab is number nine, defter is number two. According the, the, accordingly, the, the picture is not clear. Tahta, tahta is number four. Harita, three. Uh, sat, 12. And pergel is number five. Okay. Uh, resimleri tekrar bakalım bir numara söyleyelim. Mm, okay, örnek. So here okuma. O ne? O klima. What is this? This is air conditioner. O tahta mı? Is this uh, board? Evet, o tahta. Sorry, is that a board? Yes, that is a board. Onlar kim? Who are these onlar öğrenci they are uh, how can i say they are students 
Bu ne? What is this? This bu sıra. Uh, this is like you know where sıra usually it's order like order or of something. And then you have bu kalem mi? This is how you ask a question. Bu kalem mi? Is this a pen? And according to the picture, this is not a pen. So you are going to say higher. No. Bu kalem değil. This is not a pen. Bu defter. This is a notebook. Uh, a copy book, you can say. Şu ne? Because it's in the middle. Not too far, not too close. So şu ne? Bu kalem. This is a pen. According to the arrow, of course. Şu ne? What is that? Şu kitap. This is a book. What is this? This is a book. So this is to say, generally speaking, in Turkish, we use, for just for saying this is, we use bu, şu, or o. If something or an object is very near, you say bu. If the object of the per or the person are in the middle, you say Shu, and if the the person or the the how can I say the object is far, you say o. Bilgi bu shu o this that kim ne who what. Okay, so bu masa because it's yakin, it's near. Shu masa because it's middle or a bit far. O masa, because it's too far. Bu nedir? It's just a formal way how to say ne. Bu dolapter. This is dolap, or this is a, a cup, a board, a, a cupboard, a board you say. Dolap. Hold on a second. Yeah, cabinet. Bu kim? Bu kimdir? Bu öğretmendir. Who is this? This is öğretmen. So this is, you can ask, uh, bu ne? O bu nedir? Bu ev. This is house. Bu kim? Because it's a, a, a person. Bu kim? Bu kız. She is a girl. Bu ne? Bu resim. Bu kim? If you know the name, so you are going to say the name. Bu ne? Bu ağaç. Bu kim? Bu doktor. Bu ne? Bu sandalye. If I want to say all of them bu, because I can see they're all of them near, but I can also say şu or o accordingly. Kim ne? Kim ne? So we are just going to differentiate between people and objects. Polis is kim. Kush is bird. Postage is the person who brings the letter. So uh, the man who brings letters to you. Chanta is bag. Sharkiji is singer. Penjere is window. Köpek is dog. Kappa is uh, door. Kedi is uh, cat, ev is house, öğretmen, teacher, avukat, lawyer, telephone is the same, a phone, bilgisayar, computer, defter, notebook, otobüs, bus, garson is waiter, chai is tea, mühendis is uh, engineer, and hemşire is uh, nurse. Now you are going to say bunlar köpek, şunlar köpek, onlar köpek. So if it is near, you say bunlar for the plural bunlar because there are many. If it is middle, you say şunlar. If it is far or too far, you say onlar. Here it's about çoğul and tekil, singular and plural. Kitap, singular. Kitaplar, plural. Kız, singular. Kızlar, plural. Kutu, kutular, 
televizyon, televizyonlar, pencere, pencereler, pencereler, kedi, kediler, köy, köyler, üzüm, üzümler. So the rule uh, or for the plural in Turkish is very, very easy. You just add L-A-R or L-E-R to the word, to the singular. When do you add L-A-R? When do you add L-E-R? If you have those letters before the last letter, the vowel that is the last vowel in the word. If it is A, E, O or U, you are going to add R, L-A-R, like kitab. The vowel is A, so you add le a re uh, kızlar the vowel is ö so it is lar kutular the vowel is u so lar and televizyonlar the vowel televizyon the vowel is o so the plural is with r however here pencere the vowel is e so pencereler kedi the vowel is i so kediler köy the vowel is ö so köyler and Üzüm, the vowel is ü, so üzümler. Bunlar nedir? Bunlar bardaktır. Or bardaklar. What is this? These are cups, glasses. Bunlar kimdir? Bunlar öğrencidir. Yoksa bunlar öğrenciler. Who are these? These are students and that's it. So for today, I think we will stop here and next time we'll continue. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.